Guys, we have a casualty. We have a casualty. This is not good. What is going on everybody? Andy Gabs here and welcome back to another, what is gonna be a really, probably pretty quick vlog. I just wanted to tell you guys, uh, I'm actually traveling to Pennsylvania tomorrow morning uh, for you guys. I'm not sure if it's gonna be tomorrow, it'll be in a couple days or whatever. But I'll be in Pennsylvania for a week. I'm actually going there for a class. Not to teach a class like I usually do, but I'm actually going to class this time, so I get to be a student, which is going to be kind of weird for me. While I'm in Pennsylvania, I plan on going to Gettysburg as well as Hershey, so I'll definitely bring you guys along for that. If you've never been to Hershey, you've never even really heard of Hershey, it's where they make Hershey's chocolate as well as Reese's candy. It's really cool. The whole town smells like chocolate, which obviously I won't be able to capture through the camera, but there's some really cool candy stores. I think it'll be a cool little video to do. And then Gettysburg, I'm sure most people watching this are familiar with Gettysburg. If you're not, Google it so you are prepared to see what you're gonna see in the video. I plan on going at night if I can and if weather permits. Should be pretty cool and pretty creepy. So those are probably gonna be my two adventures for when I'm in Pennsylvania. I really wanna try to find something reptile related, but where I'm going is in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. It's called Chambersburg. I've heard like the only thing there is to do is a buffaloed wild wings. So if I can find something reptile related, 100%, I will even drive a couple hours to get there to show you guys some cool reptiles while I'm in Pennsylvania. But like I said, I know we will at least go to Gettysburg and Hershey. But for now, uh, most of you guys know that I have a baby that is due in, how long? Six weeks. Six weeks, I was gonna say seven. Um, baby that is due in six weeks, so I've always been kind of a Christmas nut, if you guys can't tell. I also have Christmas pants on. Um, I love Christmas, I always have, and I always enjoy decorating a tree, but since me and Kelsey have kind of just been alone for the past three Christmases, has just been us, we have like a little tiny three and a half foot tree that doesn't require much decoration, honestly. Um, but now since I have, you know, my new family is starting, I want to start a tradition of doing a time lapse of us decorating our Christmas tree. So that's going to be the majority of what this video is. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be cool, just cause I like decorating the tree. As you can see, we just went and got our Christmas tree. Um, and huge thank you to Trees for the Troops put on by FedEx. We actually got that Christmas tree for free. And here in California, Christmas trees are really expensive, like a hundred plus dollars for that tree right there. It's pretty insane. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the time lapse. We have tinsel, we've got um, these cool lights I just went and bought, they're like LED, but they're like big lights, so that should be cool. We've got all kinds of different ornaments. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy this time lapse. Again, my favorite time of the year. Are you guys as crazy about the holidays as me, and what holiday do you celebrate? Obviously, I'm a Christmas nut. Um, are there any other people watching that celebrate different holidays? Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Passover? Is that a... I feel like that might be an Easter thing. I don't know. What holiday do you celebrate? Go ahead, tell me in the comments down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get the time lapse set up so we can go ahead and get the video going. tree is decorated for the most part. We got the tinsel on, we got the lights on, we got the ornaments, or what those are called, on. Uh, now I'm gonna put the tree topper on. Patriots tree topper, of course, go Pats. Um, we've never used this before, too. Say. This is brand new. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know how like some lights have like the little bulbous part on one end? Well, the topper has it, and the light connecting thing doesn't. So I'll figure it out. Got it figured out, now we're about to do the tree lighting. Alrighty guys, so here we go. In three, two, one, hey! I love those lights. It's very pretty, I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. So now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick walk around of all my ornaments. They are actually pretty, not all ornaments, but I'm gonna show you guys like a closer up. So most of them, well not most of them, some of them are like little um, opening things, I forget what these are called, jack-in-the-boxes. Yeah. They actually like spin and stuff, there's a bunch of those. 
And then my mom, ever since I was born, got me ornaments at Christmas every year. So that's a teddy bear for three. There's the one for five years old. There's the one for four. And so on and so forth. So those are all over the tree. And then obviously the Patriots topper. So now just out of curiosity, we're gonna let the dogs in because Enzo has seen a Christmas tree, but Klaus and Kai have never seen like an actual big tree. So let's hope this goes well. <laughs> Easy boy. What? They didn't even care. Oh, no. We got a suspect. Hey, Kai. Hey, buddy. Ow, he just whipped me. What do you guys think of that tree? I don't think they care. Well, if anyone Kai. Uh, that was substantially less eventful than I thought it was going to be. I thought, oh god, I was just hit my arm. I thought they were going to go crazy. Alrighty guys, I know this was a quick one. It wasn't really a vlog, but I just wanted to start the tradition of us doing a time lapse of us recording the tree. Uh, I think it's going to be cool going forward. That way we can have it every single year and we can just look back on it. I think it'll be cool. You can see Klaus sneaking in right there for a sniff. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for the videos in Hershey and in Gettysburg and just in Pennsylvania. I might do another video as well. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. It would mean the world to me. Turn the post notification bell on, ring it, so you get uh, notified when I post. Like this video, leave me a comment down below. You guys are great, peace. Guys, we have a casualty. We have a casualty, this is not good. Uh, I just looked down underneath the tree and there was like legit water all the way out to the edge. So now I've got a towel right there. I'm gonna have to get the tree out of that thing. There must be a crack in it and then get it into a new one. So this is not gonna be easy. All right guys, so I got another one, a new one. We're gonna go ahead and replace the leaking one. Um, I think I'm gonna have to like pull the tree up. Kelsey is gonna have to get down there, slide that one out and slide the new one in because obviously the tree is already fully decorated. Definitely wasn't in my plans. I'm supposed to be editing this video, haven't even started packing and we need to leave to go down to my friend's house in San Diego in two hours. Alrighty, ladies and gents, crisis averted. The tree is back to looking good, no leaking. Uh, so now this video is over. Thank you guys for watching. All that stuff, like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on. You guys are the best. Peace again. Bye.